Welcome back to Snap Test Podcast. I'm Rose Rogero, and I'm sitting in the King of Motors- Motorsports studio, and I have my co-host, Adam, across Woo! the table from me. I'm well, not sick and dying well, this week. Well, yeah. It, only on the inside. I'm not sick and dying. Oh, I'm just dying. Yeah, we're all just dying. I, yeah, a little yeah. bit every day. Yeah, yeah. Every day we're just closer, just closer to death. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's life. <sighs> I'm going to cough see. so much today. My throat is still kind of sore. <laughs> it still tickles, but so, I'm not like sick contagious. So what point. you're saying is, I should have put, I, I should have Adam Jabay put up a plexiglass yeah. thing between us. Now the Lexan gonna... King of the Northern, Northern Chicago. Yeah, he can yeah. be the Lexan King of coming. Hey oh, wait, that's a that's a whole different thing. Whoa. Hey. All right. Well, so when I get kennel cough, it's your fault. I'm good with that. All right, that's fair. I mean, it's just a warm up for next week. Yeah, yeah, because we're going to PRI. Yeah. Um. If you're going to, this will come out soon enough. We can actually say, yeah. this. look at us being topical. planning ahead. Yeah. If you're going to PRI, hit us up. We're probably not going to do a get together, Nothing a formal, formal get together this time. Yeah. We, we didn't really do it last time either. We met up right, because the- we ended up going to the go-karting thing that grid life did that. I don't think they're doing anything formal either. Not that I saw, but if you're there, let us know. Yeah. Maybe we'll bump into you. I'll be around. Yeah, probably looking forward to it. Very. Looking forward to PRI, not looking forward to the people. That, Seeing, is, that is going to be the I'm, biggest. I'm excited crowd. to see what I catch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very cautious. There's a zero percent chance that we come home from this healthy. God damn it! I would like this year to be the year that I come home healthy. I don't. Not both of us. Have, have we ever gone and not gotten sick? No, because you I? didn't get sick last time, 2019. 19, yeah, 2019, you didn't get sick. 2018, but, I did. And, but 19, I did. Yes. Man. I was like like fever, full on dying. Yeah. I couldn't get Sudafed fast enough. And the first year, 17, you were dead the whole time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then 18, was... you got sick while we were there again, I think. Yes. 17 was the worst. 17 was a year that you just like, for like, you spent three hours sitting in the media room <laughs> just like dead. <laughs> I wanted to go home so bad. It was basically, it was just me and Michael and, <laughs> and Thomas. Yep. And you were just kind of. Well, even. Because Michael goes and has beers with like Kevin Lawrence, and he comes back, and I'm, I'm incapable of getting up to turn the heater off, and it's like 90 degrees, and I'm just so like hot. sweating it out. That. <laughs> yeah, never again, please. That that might be the sickest I've ever. But that been. wasn't the PRI flu. No, that was the next. You year. brought that with you. Yeah, it hit you were me. patient zero for the PRI. Flow. It hit me. It hit me as we were right. going getting there. You were patient. You're the one that brought it to PRI. I stayed away from people the most You're, part. You were patient zero. Yeah. Whereas yeah. I caught mine at PRI Same. in 2019. 19, yeah. yeah, and Same. I think you did in 2018. Yeah, I would prefer not to get sick. I'm sick of being sick. Oh, dude, this whole like getting the petri dish that is the world right now. I'm sick of that. I keep trying to not use PTO for the days that I've been sick uh-huh. because I want to save them for the summer. <laughs> for when you do things you enjoy. Right. But like, I've had to take a few because I had to, you know. Yeah. And then I took a whole week off for my baby. That's different though. Is that not maternity leave? No. What? They, don't, they don't offer paternity leave. That is Paternity hogwash. leave is not a law. So no, so most places don't offer it. And the place oh. that I work at considers me an enemy, I'm convinced. <laughs> and so by me, I mean all of us, the employees. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's us against but, them. Yeah, of course. Very much the, the feeling I get from our executive staff. Great. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's how you build a strong it's, it's camaraderie. Awesome. It's great. <laughs> yeah. So well, that sucks. Yeah, I didn't. I had to take a week of PTO. We for that. we actually have that. I'm not sure how, how many weeks it is for the men, but it's shockingly good. No, I don't, I don't remember. I've never looked into it because I have no intention of using it. But word. But uh, I, my understanding is it's pretty fucking good. And then the women get like 12 weeks or something, like a lot. I mean, that is a lot. Or whoever That's has like the, twice as many. Yeah, whoever has the baby, I suppose, doesn't have to be women. I guess. I mean, it's 2021. Uh, I mean, scientifically speaking, but biologically, it still has biologically to be, speaking, it yeah, has it still to be has woman. to be a woman. Yes. Scientifically speaking. Yes. Biology. Woke speaking, it could be uh, whatever you want to be, but like scientifically yes, have, speaking, yeah. it's got to be a chick. Yes. Biologically speaking. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
but whoever has the baby can have. I think that's it's twelve. I think it's like twelve weeks. That's a lot. That's twice what most places give you. I th- yeah, I think so. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a long time. Huh. I remember one one person had had a, had a baby, and then like came back, and then like had another baby. So she was gone like the whole year. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, Anyways, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. yeah, PRI, we'll be there. Yeah, and we will not be sick. Hopefully, not sick. <laughs> I'm masking up. I don't care. I'm yeah. I don't I, care. That's it's too many. That is way too many people. It really is. Even if it's just like a something to make me feel better, I will feel better. Yeah, I, I will. Because I'll I'll go to the track. I'll go to Grid Life and not really think too much about yeah. it because I'm not really packed in a building right. with people. I won't. I won't. After being sick so many years in a row, and then COVID hits, I won't go to PRI and not take precautions. No, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm like, won't do it. Well, and I remember. Uh, I think the last time we went, I think 19. I remember seeing people on my Facebook feed that I didn't even see at PRI talking about. Yep, yeah, got the PRI flu. Like, yeah, like it's a it's a known thing. Yeah, this it's it's kind of like the perfect storm of. This is the time of year where everyone starts to get sick, and then we all right. congregate in Indianapolis. Right. And this, and I mean, it's a huge building, but for the number of people, it's a tiny space. Yeah. You're touching shoulders with people all day. Yeah. You're shoulder to shoulder the whole day. Yep. So we'll see. SEMO is down on, on people, so we'll see if PRI is the same. I don't think it will be. I think PRI will be. Yeah. I don't think PRI will suffer as badly as as uh, SEMO did. Yeah. They've been advertising a thousand vendors or booths or whatever you want. They're not vendors, but yeah, yeah. whatever you uh, want to companies call Companies or... Yeah. yeah, a thousand. That's a lot. That's a lot, Robbie. It's going to be good. Looking yeah. forward to it. See all our friends. Yeah. Anyways, I uh, want to remind everybody to head over to uh, Tech Boss Motorsports. That's T-E-K-B-O-S-S company.com. Tech Boss company.com. Um, it's getting to be about Christmas time. It is. Uh, and your child or yourself... Or your significant other. Or your significant other who doesn't like to walk across the paddock. Like me. You could use an electric scooter from Tech Boss Motorsports. Um, use the code 10 tenths. You get 10% off. It's a great deal. These are the greatest deals in all of electric scooters because they're fast. They're rugged. And they're about half the price, if not less, than like all the competitors. It's yeah. shockingly... They're shockingly expensive everywhere else. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to get your uh, your scooter, be like me, and just ride your scooter across the paddock instead of having to walk like a poor, uh, look, looking down at all the pores. Don was talking to us, uh, mentioned that they have a pretty large stock of gas powered mini bikes. Oh yeah, which are super duper fun. Those are even better. Yeah, for your children or for you. I mean, let's be real here. For yeah, you, they're for you. Yeah, yeah that's you, fine. I you still can, ride. You I can still ride. Say the, it's for your kids. I still ride the 50 cc that my dad has, and it's a little kid bike. If I rip around on that thing, it's great fun. So, uh, and then he also mentioned that just so you guys are aware, the code will expire at the end of December. So if you're kind of on the fence and you weren't really sure about it, you're kind of kicking that can down the road. Now's the time. You better get on it. You will be kicking yourself. 2022 is coming. Yep. You'll, yeah. Your first event is a lot closer than you realize. Especially if you're going to Coda. Or anything else between now and March. It's only like a month or two away. Just think about it. It's really, really. Do you have anything going on in, in February? Two months away. Yeah. Is your build ready? Are you ready? Do you buy enough things on Black Friday? Did I personally? Yes. Well, I, I mean, did they? Yes. I, I did hope they? so. I hope so. If they're planning to be at Coda, is it going to show up? Probably not. Is there going to be a huge d- oh god don't s- uh, issue with supply and demand? Absolutely. Yep. You know what doesn't have an issue with supply and demand? Tech Boss Company. They got them. It's got them in stock. Yep. Come get them. Use code ten tenths before it expires. TechBossCompany.com. dot com. Uh, before we get into the opener, yeah, I want to mention today. Apparently, I don't know. I don't use Spotify. Do you use Spotify? Yeah. Do you? So apparently, they do like every year towards the end of the year. They have like a um, your top music that you listen to, your top podcasts, stuff like that. A bunch of people tagged us about us being on their top podcast list, which is super duper cool, and I really appreciate that. I really appreciate how many times we were at like the top. Or we near were really the top close to the top for a lot of them, and almost all of them we were above Slip Angle. 
all the ones I saw. And I think pretty much all we're above track walking too. Not so all of them, but pretty yes. much all of them. So that's what's up. I know that the one that uh, got posted, I think it was Dustin. Yes, I think he posted one, but I know he's a lot closer with Scott. So I, right, I yeah, get, I it. get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They're friends. But Ryan Dunham, homie. Appreciate that respect. But of course, we're, we're second to Smoking Tire because they have a million episodes. Right. I mean, <laughs> can't compete with that. We can't consistently put out a show. So, I mean, it is what it is. It helps that our shows aren't 23 minutes long. It's really hard. <laughs> to. How do you do a 23-minute show? I don't, I don't know. You can't. We could break ours up into 23 minutes. It would be such a dick move. <laughs> the biggest thing that's preventing that from happening is the sheer amount of effort it would take on the back end. I won't do it. I will not do it. Right. I, I hit I hit record, and then I put the intro and exit, and then we upload it. Yeah. And then the only time I put a little effort in is in the video. You can bet your ass I'm not going to do it. I don't have time for that. I put in way more effort than I want to already. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't the... We could just like figure out a way to make the intro music and exit music play through our headphones, and then you wouldn't have to edit at all. That's what uh, Scott does. He does... Uh, we, did, we did a different board. I don't, yeah. I don't care enough. That's to not worth it. No, that's fine. We're not going to spend money. No, but I appreciate everyone that uh, has tagged us, that does listen, yeah. and tells their friends that they listen. Yeah. So more of that. If you Super cool. Actually, by the time this comes out, that'll be over. People will stop doing that by then. People we haven't had real analytics up until the anchor change. Yep, and even that's not accurate. So yet. I wasn't convinced that people even listened anymore. No, because it was... They were, it was consistently like the same amount all the time. Well, and half the time I couldn't even get them to load anyway. Yeah, which would explain why we left. Fucking obviously. shout engine. They really let us down. It needed to happen a long time ago. We drug our feet because we wanted it to be seamless. Right. And we couldn't get it to be seamless. No, so we finally shout engine. We pulled the Band-Aid off last week, Yeah, and we had minimal amounts of complaints. And by that, I mean none. So if you're here... Thank you. Thank you for sticking <laughs> through it if you had to change anything. Yep. It should have been as simple as just research, like searching our name and subscribing right. to the right feed. Yeah, I know that iHeartRadio was down for a day just because I forgot to push to that one. But okay, we should be good. Cool. Google might be the only one that, but I don't think Google that's, apparently finds you. Yeah, and people don't really use Google as much as the other apps, in my opinion, or from what I've On seen. On the Androids. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. Well, so yeah, should we do an opener? Yeah. This uh, this really. Would have in in episodes past okay. this particular thing that we're going to talk about would have fallen into the news. Remember when we used to do the news, Robbie? No, what's the news? Back back in the day, <laughs> we used to do an intro, a topic, and news in an, in an hour, hour and, and a half. half. Isn't that wild? How do we do that? I don't know, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> As long as we glossed over things, no. And there were three of us. Yeah. There was a third person to give his opinion that didn't matter. Yeah. Shit's crazy. Man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how we did that. I don't know, but I found this interesting, So, and I didn't want to like do the news. That was that seemed like a lot of work. No. That's... So uh, this is which drivers are most likely to be psychopaths. And how do I rank? Yeah, you can kind of take this, or you can kind of figure out where you rank in this. It's really funny. So they break it down by uh, car make. Uh, propulsion method, meaning like gas, diesel, electric, uh, and color of car. Oh. Okay. And they they have a uh, average psychopathy score ranked or rated out of 36. Okay. I don't know where that number comes from. Uh, winning with 12.1 out of 36, BMW. Color me shocked. Right, yeah. Col- was, color was, me I mean, shocked. I mean, duh. <laughs> Audi, second place, 11.7. So not like terribly far behind, no, but like not. almost a full person. Yeah, that's... Or a full point. point. Whatever the point is, I don't know. Uh, and then like it drops kind of dramatically down to third place Fiat with seven. <laughs> seven even, which is kind of a big drop. That's a huge jump. Yeah, considering it's only out of 36 to begin with. That's a pretty big chunk changed so 12, uh, 11, this was seven i should note this was this was done in europe or in in the uk specifically okay and so there's some brands on here that like citroen and and uh, reno and stuff oh, that we yeah. don't get so those don't but, but but to be fair if someone is driving a citroen or a reno 
or a Peugeot in America, we can just as safely assume that they are a psychopath. I mean, that's probably fair. So, um, fourth Mazda. We're not going to go through all these, but uh, a couple of them. Let's see. Are Nissan, Robbie? Heck yeah. 14th out of 20 oh, I think options. That's, I think that's 14th. fair. 14th. I'd believe that. Yeah. Uh, Chevy's not on here. Uh, but Kia is. I don't know what that says about Chevy. I don't know. Maybe that's because they. I mean, they, they not, exist they, they, in the UK. In the UK, yeah. Maybe they're just not psychopaths. Maybe I would. Just, I would. Maybe there's just less than three point two in their score. Three point two being the lowest. Skoda. I. I. I sure. So uh, I'll take I don't it. Know. I don't know. I guess. I can't rate myself because all I have. Oh no! I have a I have a Honda. I have a Honda, don't I? You're Robbie? a five. I keep forgetting I have a Honda at five, six point three. Yeah, you're up there now. You are more psychotic than I am because I I have to go with the Nissan. Yeah, I don't have, have a Chevy. Through. Well, no, you have a Ford. Ooh, that's Jess's Ford. She's yeah. with, she's oh, that's more fair. That's she's fair. more psycho oh, than it's I Katie's, am. It's Katie's Honda. Yeah. This explains a lot. It really, because they're That's, both girls. Yeah. That makes so a that, lot of sense, so actually. Yeah. This, you got the Honda and the Ford, way at five, five and six, respectively. And then yeah. there's me at 14 with the Nissan. Yeah. Or off the charts completely with the Chevy. This math, this math this checks checking out. out. This yeah. is checking out really I'm, well here. I'm totally okay with these scores so far. <laughs> <laughs> they don't listen. Who cares? Right. There's like three girls that listen to this, and neither one of, none of them are our significant others. According to Anchor, it's zero. <laughs> Uh, apparently, if you're on Stitcher or Spotify, you're not a chick. Yep. That listens to this show anyway. Uh, and then the next section, uh, the fuel types. So the fuel types are electric, hybrid, diesel, and petrol or gas. Uh, obviously, to nobody's shock, <laughs> electric coming in real hot and heavy. <laughs> 16. 16. On a, which is, 16 out of 30. Which is more than BMW by itself. So if you drive an electric BMW, if you have an i. Uh, what is that called? The i8? The no. i8 was the car thing. What was the little... Was it an i... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing that really ugly thing. Yeah, that they always bring like to cars a, and coffee. It's and really like, proud almost of like an IQ, but not nearly as good. Oh, you're thinking the smaller one. I'm thinking like the crossover looking thing. That's like, They're always super proud of them when they own them, but they're like the ugliest car on earth. Yeah, I don't remember. It's not important. But uh, you're, you're, you're a real psychopath. Yep, That's electric fine. BMW... So hybrid, the, the, I mean, I listed them off in order when I read it. Hybrid, diesel, petrol. Petrol coming in with 5.2. I think that's, I think that's Gas. Is, yeah. We're, so again, we're the least psycho. This checks out. Yep. Yeah. We're, we're well below average, I would say. Yep. Yep. So, and then uh, color. Yep. Uh, so the options, gold, brown, green, black, blue, white, silver, and red. That is in the order they come in. So gold being the highest, 12.7 again. So if you have a gold electric BMW... Serial killer. Pure psychopath. Yeah. Full on. Six personalities. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, Booney likes gold BMW. and BMW. He's a BMW fanatic. Right. And I know that he's got a special place in his heart for the the John Player. Yes. Which is black and gold. gold. Yep. So, I mean, but you know. That math kind of checks out. Checks too. out a little bit. Yeah, too. I'm not. I'm not. And he, you know, he probably wouldn't even argue. No, I, I don't, don't think, think so. he would. I think he'd be if like, he wanted to argue, he could right now. But he's he's not, he's not here. here. He, could, well, he couldn't so, be bothered. So screw him. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. Number two on the list is orange. <laughs> <laughs> Should be. What's it, it, oh, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> I'm with you now. Brown, orange. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I always forget. Uh. Let's see. What do you have, Robbie? Uh, the you have a black car, a yeah, black truck, right? Black truck. Black. Jess has a black Ford, and then I have a silver and red 350Z. So black is dead middle. That's fair. Uh, and then silver and red bringing up the end. That's fair too. And then I have, I have a beige vehicle. That's the, brown. The beige is tan. Tan's not even on here. That's, that's what I'm saying. Tan falls under a brown shade. It's a really light brown, which I feel like that I can knock a few points off. Are you going to give yourself an off white with that? I'll take white. <laughs> I'll take off white. Tan is an <laughs> off white. <laughs> the Omni is gold, actually. That checks out. Which is a real unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't think about that. My S10's white. 
It bounces back out. White now, six now you're back, now you're back the between, bottom there. You're, now you're back between a green and a black. Yeah. When, when, if you average those two. Yeah. Then there you go. A three See, and a I'm four. I'm not bad about that. So, and then I guess they also talk about uh, personalized number plates. Pure psychopath if you have uh, a personalized number, number plate. Well, I have two of them, so. Um, I have none. This math checks out. It says that uh, personalized plate owners are almost three times more likely to show psychopathic tendencies. I believe that. There are a <laughs> metric <laughs> fuck ton of personalized license plates in the state of Iowa now because of that black plate that we That got. too. Now, ignoring the black plate that right. everyone thought they had to have. So many people. Go anywhere. There's always sports fanatics that have their license plates based on their sports teams. Yeah. And I feel like that type of fanatic fan probably falls under the psychotic spectrum. This math checks out. Oh, this is interesting. So I, I read a little farther down here. Each participant then undertook a 12-question psychopathy test inspired by Psych Central, giving each driver a psychopathy score out of 36 to reveal how many psychopathic tendencies they may have. The scoring system is detailed below. 0 to 18, no psychopathy. All right. So 0 to 18, you're not a psychopath, Monster. which I think most of our vehicles fell in the 0 to 18 category. Definitely less than 18, yeah. Uh, 19 to 26, psychopathy possible. 27 plus, psychopathy likely. likely. So. Yeah. So we, oh, we could take it right now. Should we do it really quick? It's only. We got nothing but time. How many did it say? It's, it's 12 questions. 12 questions. Let's do it. Fuck it. All right. Most would describe me as charming and nonchalant. I can turn my charm on and off like a faucet. I would say this describes me somewhat. I would say I would agree. Yeah. You and I. For both of us. I, would, I think that's fair. I think we can be charming. Let's let's do this as as a group. We are we are one right. personality. Yeah, we're one psychopath. <laughs> that's, I'm good with that. Uh, I do what I want, when I want, the moment the impulse strikes me, regardless of what others want. Uh, well, Robbie, you're childless, which means you do get to do that more I, so than I, I do. I do. I usually think things but through a little thing. bit. I don't think that you do what you want when you want because... I'm married. I, well, there's that. But also, even if you weren't married, because like, I, I think an overwhelming reason that you don't call for help is because you don't want to inconvenience somebody. Yes. And for that same reason, I would say you don't do what you want when you want for fear of inconveniencing somebody. 100% accurate. Because you're too Midwest. I would rather suffer all damn day alone than has, ask somebody to take 10 minutes out of their day to help me. Right. And so I, I feel like... it'd be. I think it describes me somewhat. I think, yeah, at best it's somewhat for both of us. Yes. I, there are times where I do it's certainly what I want. not often or definitely. It's definitely not definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Three. If something goes wrong or turns out badly, it's not my fault. Oh, I will always own up to my faults. I try to. I uh, Let's go with often. This I've, often describes me. Wait, no, no, no. No, no. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. That's the opposite. Wait. So, what, so does, that goes, mean, does that mean I'm accepting responsibility? No, no, no. Or does that mean that... It, You're blaming others. I'm if, so if, good that nothing ever goes wrong. No, no. If something goes wrong... Or it turns out badly, it's not my fault. So, so I'm accepting the responsibility. You're blaming oh. others. You're blaming others. Oh, okay. I see what. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I am not accepting responsibility for something that went wrong. Yes. That's not me. I mean, I, I, I try to accept my fault. Like, I did a whole podcast last week for two and a half minutes explaining all my faults. That's fair. <laughs> um, so this is, let's do with not me. Yeah, that's not me. I've gotten into legal or criminal trouble as an adult, not just a speeding or parking ticket. Not me. I have a clean record. Not me, Robbie. Not me. Giggity. Not everybody listening can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I am wow. easy, I am easily the best at what I do, bar none. Nobody could t- ever take my place. Did we not just shit on other podcasts saying this? I feel we- <laughs> like this describes me somewhat. Um, I'm going to go with often. Often? Let's go with often. Okay, I'm good with that. This describes us often. We are the best, bar I none. do think I'm very good at what I do for the most part. I'd say the same thing most about Most of the over. things I do, I'm very good at it. I, I would or argue, I wouldn't do it. Yes, I would argue that I 
I am good at what I do at work. I don't enjoy doing things I'm bad at. That's fair too. But, but I also but I race and I'm bad at. Like, I'm not well, great. Well, right? that's fair. And I I try to cook, but I'm trying to be better. Yeah, exactly. That's I'm, why I do it. It's all about progress. I'm trying to be, be the better, best. Yeah, which I mean, we both often. Yeah, I'm good with that. I do whatever I feel like doing, and I don't care what others think, even if it's illegal. Oh, that's not either one of us at all. No, I'll do things that are illegal, but I I worry about what other people think about it. Way more (laughs) than I want to, honestly. I I don't want to inconvenience anybody. I think about what others think way more than I want to. Constantly. I constantly think, man, I should just not worry about what other people think. You give me like half a negative, like, like, here's an example. I have a horrible beard right now. It's real bad, It's real bad. I was real self like the whole point. Okay, <coughs> so I did no shave November. Yeah, and then it's December first today. Uh huh. So I told people at work I was going to do silly season for like the rest of the week because oh, Jesus, so why not? Right? Yeah. So I have a beard. Yeah, I mean it's not of. much one, but it's there. Yeah. So then I I told them I would do the uh, the friendly chops. Uh-huh. So it's it's sideburns down my cheeks and then up over my mustache and right. back, and then I shaved my chin. Right. So it's like like Wolverine. You look ridiculous. Exactly. Exactly. That's fair. But I I did it knowing it was a joke. Right. But I almost didn't go to the gym today because I couldn't bring myself like I, I did it, but I I I was nervous about like people looking at me going, oh, that's What funny. a fucking idiot. That's funny. So yeah, I do worry about what other people think, even when I'm fully aware that it's a joke. Yeah, that's not me. Not me. No. Nope. I worry. Okay. Every person for themselves. Wait, is that right? Every person for themselves. I don't see the point of feeling sorry for other people and have no desire to help others. Well, that's not me. I try to help. I think that describes me somewhat. Because I do kind of agree that every person... like You, you are responsible for yourself. I will help you if you're helping yourself. Right. I'm not I'll help do it you. for you. I'll help you, but you're still responsible for yourself. So I yeah. feel like that's somewhat. Yes. I Yeah. I'm not going to do it for you. Right. All right. I've gotten into legal or criminal trouble when I was a teenager... No. Uh, not legal. We never got in any legal trouble. I drank at a really young age. Yeah, but you that, also, that, that also means I don't drink now, so it kind of worked out. Not a speeding or parking ticket, it says specifically. I, I have never gotten anything except speeding tickets. Got into some fights when I was a kid. Got a couple of front license plate tickets. That's no, it. Those don't count. I'm going with not me for us. I'm going to go with We're not- pretty straight-laced and boring when it comes yeah, to these things. Yeah, I never Robbie. got... Yeah, I mean... I've a couple of fist fights as a teenager, but not enough to like. I saw a full on fist fight in a Casey's yesterday morning. That's so Midwestern. Like idea. somebody grabbed someone by the shirt collar and threw him against the sandwich, you know, because they have like kind of like a subway style sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Counter in a lot of those newer, newer Casey's. Threw him against that and then like grabbed him and threw him to the other side into the coffee machines. Oh, really? And then like grabbed him around the neck and was just throwing punches and like no hooks into his face just wha-bam wha-bam did they know each other before this i think so okay actually i think they were getting in some level of legal trouble only minutes before in front of the cases because <laughs> there was this like right in front of the cases there was one of those big penske box trucks yep and there were three sh- uh cops. cops and a dot officer oh and i was Five miles from an interstate, which is pretty much the only place you ever see DOT officers, yeah. is on like highways and interstates. Yep. So like they were up to no good, and they and then they went into the Casey's, and I think they I think they must there was a big dude. He was dude. He was six five, six six, like tall, three hundred and fifty pounds, a large man, big man, and then like a dude my size who was throwing the and the dude my fish. size threw the first punch. Nice. And then the dude not my size finished it. To the surprise of no one. Yeah. And then the little <laughs> dude got arrested. Nice. Because cause I was talking to the Casey's lady this morning. Yep. The little dude got arrested because when the cops showed up, they found drugs on him. Shocked. But I think they're also the ones that were pulled over only minutes earlier. <laughs> and so apparently they managed he managed to hide the drugs long yep. enough for the first cut round of cops not to find them. Huh. You know, if you if you're carrying drugs, maybe don't bring attention to yourself in yeah. a Casey's. But yeah, that's not us. We did not do that. No. I have no problem or concern in lying in order to get what I want. No, Tommy, I don't like lying. No, I'm not a liar. I can hear my car parts are being delivered. Car parts. You can hear my dog barking. 
Uh, live in the moment is what I say. The future will take care of itself and learn from the past is pointless. Uh, I'm like right up the middle. Yeah, because I, I say that's future Robbie's problem. But All I, the, the time. Sa- at the same time. But I absolutely learn about from the past. Yeah, learn from the past. I don't repeat the same mistakes. Try not to. Uh, <coughs> I guess somewhat. I, this describes me somewhat. I guess. Well, yeah, somewhat. That's a poorly written question. That's, yeah, that was that was weird. I never feel remorse, shame, oh, or no. guilt about something I've said or this done. This does not describe me at all. Not me. I no, feel I, guilt about... So much. My roommate in college said that he hated drinking with me because I'd feel guilty about anything I said or did, even when I was... Like, I didn't do anything wrong. Right. Like, I wasn't, like, not, like, ripping street signs off of things or kicking right. mirrors off, off yeah. cars or whatnot. But I would still feel... <laughs> My dog is losing <laughs> The UPS is here. Apparently, uh, that guy had to come back twice. <laughs> you have ordered that many car parts? Probably. Um, <laughs> but like he said, he goes, I, dude, it's like it's so weird because you won't do anything wrong, but then you'll feel so guilty and then not drink for like three weeks. I'm like, yeah, I fucking hate it. You still feel guilty about that? I still, to this day, <laughs> I feel guilty about things I've done when I was drunk that no one else remembers because yeah. it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel guilty That's about everything. That's not me at all. Yep, I'm guilty. Uh, I don't see the point in taking on responsibilities of any kind. I just wait. They just weigh you down. All I do is take on responsibilities. Yeah, I have them all. That's not me either. Not me. Six. Yeah. We no are, psychopath. We are Look not us. We're not psychopaths. psychopaths. I'm pretty proud of that. That's pretty good. Uh, you know what? I think I, I I'm going to post. I wouldn't want, yeah, I wouldn't want a zero. I want, no. I'm going to post this on the group. Yeah. Post your scores. Be honest. Yeah. I want to know how many psychopaths. All of them. Be honest. That's this, hilarious. That's awesome. It's super funny. So this psychopathy test was brought to you by <laughs> Factor Fabrication. <laughs> Factorfabrication dot com for all of your uh, custom furniture, railings, cages. If you want to get caged or railed, uh, hit up Booney. He'll get you covered. I was over there the other day using his press <laughs> because I didn't want to buy my own. I get that. So I was like, hey, do you have shop press? He's like, yeah. I was like, I'm going to break into your shop and use it. So I, I drove by there twice today and thought about stopping both times, but I was at work and like, probably shouldn't. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna call you out for not stopping That's and calling fine. you rude. That's fine. No. Yeah, so if you need furniture or anything, uh, basically anything made out of mood, mood, wood, wood, mood, <laughs> I suppose if you want to make it out of mud, mud, mud. Uh, if you want to make it out of wood, metal, other materials, I'm pretty open. If you got some ideas, he's got you covered. Like if you go to Eatery A downtown, delicious food, and you look at all the decor, all the decor done by the, by Factory Fabrication, and it's beautiful place, beautiful, high quality. You could have your whole house look like that. I'm just saying. Factoryfabrication.com. So now that we've done one test, yeah, we are not psychopaths. Let's do another. We are physically so capable. we know we're not psychopaths, which is good. Now let's find out if we actually should be able to drive. So uh, let's preface this a little bit, okay? Because I have some things to say about this before we dive into this. We've talked about this kind of at length a long time ago, but uh, and I, I think for the most part you agree with me when I say this. Uh, it's too easy to hold to have and maintain a driver's license in the United States. I will 100% agree that it's... Driving is a privilege, yes. not a right. It is, it is too e- definitely too easy to maintain. Yeah. Um, the fact that I took a test once when I was 16 and then have never even thought right. about it again. Right. Probably not the best, best way to go about this. Right. And we talked about this because... I mean, it's been a few years now already again, but uh, a not so... Certainly more recently than Robbie... I got uh, a Class C CDL, which oh, is yeah. is a pretty low CDL, pretty easy to get. Um, basically, allows me to drive a school bus or like mid sized work trucks. Okay. Um, and is that the one that's required for like most jobs, or is that like a? It's considered a chauffeur's license. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, the state of Iowa changed the law now and a lot of the vehicles that required that no longer require it so like all of our trucks at work that required a c now don't you can just drive with a regular driver's license so it used to be i'm gonna say this and probably be wrong because i'm, I'm not gonna correct fucking you. terrible with numbers and everybody knows that <laughs> but i believe that it was um 
twenty five thousand pounds and under required a class C. Okay. And then twenty five thousand and one and up required a class B and then there gets a little higher and you have to have a class A. Class A. Class A covers everything. If you have a class A with combo, combo being the trailer. If you have a class A with combo, you can drive anything. Uh there's an air brake add on and a hazardous chemical add on. Um but like if you have if you have a class A with combo and air brakes, you can basically drive anything that's legal on the road. That sounds like you're describing a big RV to me. Well, that's... <laughs> well, you could drive that with a... With the 16-year-old could drive that with a license. That's really hard because I understand, like, if if they required the higher licensing to drive those vehicles, that would kill what is already probably a semi-fragile industry. Yes. It would totally kill it. That and I th- but at the same time, is that a good reason not to do it? It's definitely not, it's not, the, it's not the right reason. And like most of them would fall under class C laws. Yeah. And it was not that hard to get a class C. Yeah. I had to pass a driving, a, a written or a, a test, like much like the practice test we're about to take yep. to see if we're still qualified to have our driver's license. I'm kind of nervous about the first, first question already. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, we'll get to that here in a second before we start. Uh, but and then you have to drive with with a person in a in a vehicle oh. that that would require that license. Okay. And the only thing they made me do, they made me back uh, back into two parking spots. Like one of them, I was like perpendicular to it, and I had to turn ninety and back into it. Okay. And it was like just a coned off box. They just had to back like, into like a parking. They had they have a huge parking lot at yeah. the DOT center, and then they just have some cones in boxes. And it basically, I had to start ninety degrees to it and turn it back into it. Oh, okay. And then the other one, I had to start offset from it, but parallel to it. Okay. And then turn and like forty five into it, and oh. you know, and then come to a stop inside of the box without knocking any cones over. And you get like thirty. And tries. then, <laughs> and well, you had, um, like say. I wanted to say it was like 20 minutes to accomplish the maneuvers that they required. And it took me like four. Yeah. I can't imagine. Like it didn't, it wasn't a big deal. And then we had to go out and drive around the, you know, the section, if you will. Like, you know, when they took, she has a route. It took us on the interstate. It took us through some of the traffic areas. You know, we turned left at some stop signs. We turned right at some stop signs just to make sure that I, you know, can, can handle driving a a larger vehicle. And mostly it's, it's like, can handle driving a vehicle, period. Yeah. You know, what she's vehicle, like, what would you, what were you driving? Uh, at the time, it was one of our, um, uh, one of our bucket trucks. Okay. That's a proper, so it's, that's a proper so size. So that vehicle. is a F550 chassis. Yeah. With, uh, with a big boom on it. Dualies? Yes. Okay. Duals in the I mean, back. It's, that's a, so it's, it's, it's a big bigger, truck. it's bigger than a one ton truck. Like it's bigger than a 3500 truck. Yep. Uh, it's it, it's what they call like a medium duty. Yeah, that's what Dalton should have to tow the vehicle, the, tra- the trailer that he has. That he has, has, yes. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the only time you'd really be in trouble is if you've never driven one before. I think that once yeah. you lo- once you know the size of your vehicle and you're capable of driving, no problem. Right. Yeah. So, a couple of pointers that I remember from when I took this <laughs> test. Uh, a lot of times they try to trick you by they'll they'll have questions that have answers. Where more than one of those answers could be correct, but one of them is most correct. That drove Jess insane on all of her nursing exams because, like, they're all correct. Right. But one of them is more correct than the others. Yeah. (laughs) Which is bullshit. She was ready to quit nursing school over that. She was so mad. And then there's some that are like, this is common sense. Right. But it's technically illegal. <laughs> it's technically it's not what you're supposed to do. But it's totally what I would do. I'm not going to give it away in case it's in here. Yep. Um, but yeah, there's some of those questions like that. That's like absolutely that's what I'll do. But I know that's not what the law says I'm supposed to do. You know. So uh, I, if I remember right, it was 25 questions. Let's just see what happens, Robbie. All right. So turn this open so everybody can see. Yeah. Uh, they're watching the YouTube video. All right. T- question one of the Iowa driver's license yeah, practice test. Thing. We're taking the one on iowadot.gov. 
uh, we just I just Googled this and found it. I chose the one for Iowa because for you and I, I know this applies to the laws we're most familiar with. We're not going to get any weird like state law. Like I know Michigan has some weird rules with the the way that their um, trucks can be in certain lanes and stuff like that on their some of their interstate systems. And like, or, you know, this isn't, so this is local to you and me. So we're most likely to know these laws. Okay. That's why I chose this one. Okay. So question one, if the rear of your vehicle is skidding to the left. Oh, I fucking hate these questions so much. (laughs) You should. Panic. (laughs) Not, not turn your steering wheel until you are through skidding. Turn your steel wheel, steering wheel to the left to correct the skid. Remember, your vehicle is skidding to the left. Turn your steering wheel. Oh God! <clears throat> Turn your steering wheel to the right to correct the skid. So my vehicle, my ass is going left. Uh huh. What direction do I turn? So my- here's the thing, Robbie. <laughs> is this one of those where it's like this is what I would do? But it's not what I'm supposed to do. That's kind of where I'm at with it. Because obviously I'm going to turn to the right. I mean, I'm going to correct my skid. I'm going I'm to counter steer. Yeah. We're drifting <laughs> here. I'm going to fix it that way. Right. But am I actually not supposed to turn the wheel until I'm through skidding? I don't think that's what it is. No, I think it's... It's got to be... You turn it right to correct the skid. It's got to be... got to drift it out. C. Right? Turn your steering wheel to correct the skid. I yeah. really, really don't like that they have a start this exam over button on the bottom I want to. <laughs> of every single one of these. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, you're a fucking idiot. Here's the start over exam. <laughs> so are we going to the right? <laughs> yeah, we're going to the right. All right, we're going to the right. We don't have a tiebreaker anymore. Two. Oh, well, they don't even tell us if we're right or we wrong. we got to get to the end. Oh, <laughs> I don't like this at all, Rob. <laughs> we're going to fail this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following increases the chance of being involved in a rear end collision? All right, logic. We got this one. Driving at a reasonable and safe speed for the circumstances and conditions. Remember, we are increase. We are which of the following increases the chance of That's being involved? That's the other thing they try and fuck you with, yep. Robbie. So the first one is driving at a reasonable and safe speed. Yeah. That does not increase your no, chance of an arrest. Decreases, if anything. Uh, following too closely. Oh, we've got a strong. That's a strong, a strong answer. lead there. Third one. Watching the vehicles ahead of you. I've watching, watching, not object fixating. Right. Watching. That's it's a good point. It's an interesting uh, differentiation you've made there. Because if I was object fixating, that's one of Adam Jabe's favorite things to talk about in his driver's meetings because it's a thing your car will go where you are staring yep don't stare at the wall yep you are watching the cars not staring at them (sighs) yeah okay so definitely option b in this following following too too closely closely. yeah this color sign tells you it's an orange sign It's it's a diamond it's a diamond uh the options are do not enter which is white and red yeah? Yes. Yeah. Stop ahead, which is red, red and white. white. Uh, and road construction or maintenance ahead. I have one of these exact signs in my truck. It's orange, Robbie. Yep. Road maintenance and construction ahead. Similar to what's on the back of a tractor. Yeah. Or a yellow flag at the racetrack. Do me a favor. Pay attention to these. Yeah. Pay attention to your orange Especially and yellow Especially those flags. orange signs, because I it could be me that you're coming across. And if you run over a construction worker, it's like... A ten thousand dollar fine and like a million years in jail. It's not enough. Yeah. No. Th- that's really funny is because like it's like ten years in jail, or like thirty three dollars. It's like they're not even re- like com- close to what they supposed like they should match. Yeah. A million years in jail or I've, a monetary fine. I've long ago accepted the fact that it's only a matter of time before somebody runs into me when I'm parked in the back of your, back of your truck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times I'll park my so I work in the back of my truck, right? When yeah. I'm parked on the side of the road. So a lot of times I'll park with the nose of my truck facing oncoming traffic. Okay. Uh because Did you have like the flashing lights, don't you? Yeah, I have all those lights and, and stuff like that. But then I, I always in my head, I would rather have somebody hit the opposite end of the vehicle. Yes. Plus you have like all that to to cushion you before right. it gets that's, to you. That's that's what in it's my not gonna head, feel good. No, but. it's gonna suck either way. But <laughs> in my head, that's the best scenario yes and if if and, we can get all the way off the road 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I will. I don't care about your ditch or your grass no. or your front yard. I really couldn't care less. No. Survival. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's important. Yeah. Uh, so. Question four. <clears throat> if the gates at a railroad crossing are down and red lights are flashing, you should A, stop and proceed only when the gates are raised and the lights have stopped flashing, huh? drive around the gates after stopping, and C, drive side by side with the train. I mean, obviously that sounds like the most fun. Yeah, you got to match that speed. Who hasn't wanted to race a train? Everybody. Um, we had one of these malfunction on the way to work because there's a, a like around by Valley Junction. There's yeah, a train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am shocked at the number of people that were willing to just go around it. Fuck it, the train's not coming. There's a train goes through here every fucking twenty minutes. <laughs> I don't care if it's malfunctioning. Yeah. We know trains go through here every day. Yeah. Nope. Didn't just ignored it. Dude, they, the, they didn't even look both ways. The trains in Nevada. Are hoofing it some days. Ames, somebody Blind. dies in Ames every year yeah, from getting average, hit by a train. We average one student a year that we lose it at in Ames for sure. Yes, it's I, always I, it's always an Iowa State student. Always, usually they're drunk. But that the train's yeah. going on a specific path. Yeah, and I have zero sympathy for people who get hit by trains because trains number one they're not quiet. And number two, that f- it you, didn't jump out from behind a bush and scare you. you. Knew where it was going. It's a very clear and defined path. And they're really noisy. And usually, there is a crossing. There is down a, and red and red yeah. lights flashing. Yeah, option um, A. Option A. Stop and proceed only when the gates are up. Uh, question five: When you are merging onto the freeway or interstate, you should be driving two hundred and fifty miles an hour. This is in Texas. <laughs> this, is the, this is the Iowa driver's license test, not That's the fair. Texas test. That's fair. Uh, a. Five to ten miles per hour slower than the traffic on the freeway. Wrong. Throw that out. At or near the same speed as the traffic on the freeway oh, or interstate. That's a bullshit question, Robbie. It is. The posted speed limit for traffic on the freeway or interstate. It should be B. Should because be B. if there is a slowdown in traffic, I can't. And, and the, the interstate is doing 45 miles an hour because of a that, traffic jam. That. I can't merge at 65. That, that has to be the question, the answer. It's got to be, right? Because the posted speed limit for traffic, that completely goes back to one of the second question we had where it talks about the con- driving in the conditions. Right. So if it's snowing... It should be... It should be B. You, you need to be matching the speed of the traffic. Yeah. I understand that in Los Angeles, sometimes it'll be three miles an hour or 90 miles an hour. Right. Fuck the speed limit. Right. In Iowa... You assume you're going to go the speed limit because the only time you're ever not at the speed limit is when something bad happens, which is like 2% of the time. Right. Or it's snowing. Right. But you don't think about that when you're taking the test. No, it should be It should be B. It should be B. At or near the same speed as the traffic. But I feel like this is one of those questions where it's like the most correct answer. It's a gotcha. But this, this has to be most correct. I agree. the speed limit is not... I agree, Robbie, but... What did the book that we didn't read say? I didn't read the book. I know, that's it's been, the problem. It's been... It's been 18 years yeah, since exactly. I read that book. No. Yes. Because I wrote, I wrote, read it when I was 16. Because I also read it when I was 14 to get my... I don't know that I did read it when I was 16. I don't remember. Because we did the class. Right. A flashing red light at an intersection means A. Stop and wait for the green light. B. Slow and go with caution. C. Stop and yield the right of way. It blows my mind how many people don't know this. C. Yeah, it's it's stop. You treat it like a stop sign. Yeah, because like when the street lights go down, they default into this flashing right. red. Yeah, and people just like lose their minds oh, in Des Moines all the time. It's been my fault more than once. I know how people <laughs> react to it. Yes, a flashing red light is the equivalent of a stop sign. Next seven. When preparing to make a left turn from a two way street, Ooh, you should here we go left turn from a two way street. You should. You should drive. Oh, you should drive close to the right-hand side of the road, close to the center line, on the left of the center line. When preparing to make a left turn from a two-way street. So it would be close to the center line. Yeah, because you Because if you're on the left, if you're left of the center line, you're you're in the oncoming traffic. 
So, that being said, that's such a bullshit question. That being too. said, if you are going down a, an empty highway and your exit is to the left, I really appreciate when you go into oncoming but traffic. That's illegal, Ravi. I appreciate it. I, I'm not saying I don't, it's but not, it's, it's not legal. It's also like in Texas when you're right behind somebody and they just pull over to the shoulder and let you pass. Not legal, but I totally appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go with close to the center line. Yeah. That's a really tricky wording. Yep. That's that's a gotcha question. Two-way street, not two-lane. According to the Iowa Implied Consent Law, oh God. which we are not familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really important. Implied consent. <laughs> Why is this? A, that's a sexual question, right? That's, what, that's what, a sexual that's, question. That's, <laughs> no, because you can't imply consent in sexual situations you can't can. imply it robbie apparently that's how you, people get it that's that's how people get in trouble <laughs> apparently you can with your driving though yeah but that's that's totally different uh implied consent law for both resident and non-resident drivers i don't have a okay <laughs> i don't have a fucking clue what let's, implied consent maybe we is. can maybe we can figure it out by reading the answers let's read the answers all right a an arrested driver may be asked to submit to a chemical test to determine the alcohol content of his or her blood. Oh, oh, it's a it's a it's a drug and alcohol test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get to say no to that. I mean, you can, but that's like committing guilt. Yeah, pretty much. Um, refusal to submit to chemical testing will result in the driver's privileges being withdrawn. Both of the above are true. I don't know that they revoke your license. They take you to jail, and your lawyer has to help you. Like if I get pulled over for a DUI and I refuse a test, I they take me to. I don't think they can pull your license on the spot, can they? Not that I'm aware of. But or can they? But, but can they? I don't know. I don't. I've never been I'm not, pulled over for DUI. Even when I was drinking, I never risked. Let it. me make a phone call. No, because <laughs> you wouldn't get to do that. We have to. We have to make this. We One have of my coworkers has got like three or four DUIs. They clearly don't know the law. He used to live in Wisconsin. Can they drink up there? It's Missouri. You can open container. Right? Wisconsin. Wisconsin's a state that like the first your first DUI is is a slap on the wrist. Like it's not even a moving violation. <laughs> and like the Believe state like, average yeah. is three or four. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> it's dumb, dude. But, um it's a it's coming from a state whose uh whose s- slogan or motto is drink Wisconsinably. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> um, sorry, Wisconsinites. I know you can refuse it, but you're gonna get taken to the station. I it's either A or C. Refusal to submit a chemical testing will result in the driver's privileges being withdrawn. I mean, for the rest of the night, of course, because you're gonna spend it in the drunk tank. It's not specific enough. Let's go with C. I think it's C. You think Robbie. it's you think, I think, it's you think they take your license? Is the, like I know, like at work, it doesn't say they take your license. It just says they take your driving privileges. That's okay. Well, I mean, I it doesn't give you a time frame though. I know with the FAA, they're not going to let you drive to the drunk tank. No, uh, I know with the FAA, uh, if you refuse to take the test, that's a failure. You are fired. I think that's fair. I'm gonna. I, I, that's how our drug tests at work work. Yeah, that's how it is. If All you right. get hurt, you have to take a drug test. And yeah. if you refuse it, you failed it. Yeah, cause, <laughs> because if you had nothing to hide, you would have took it. Right. Because all it is is a piss test. Right. Um, yeah, we're going to go with both are true. I don't know enough about the implied consent law because it doesn't apply to me because I don't drink. Uh, unless a sign is posted, <laughs> you may turn right Ugh. at a red light if... Okay, yeah, so in Iowa, you can turn right on red unless there is a sign specifically saying not no to. No right on red, which yes. is an incredible... For the, and it's for, a sign I hate seeing more than anything in the world. Yes. And I also hate being at a one-way street that goes left, because left on red is not, ille- is not legal, right. ever. Ever. Right on red is the only time it's legal. Yeah. So when I'm sitting there waiting to make my left turn, I get honked at. I get so mad. <laughs> Where am I going? Is this the thing you have to deal with occasionally? Da- yeah, downtown. Oh, okay. I don't go downtown that often. All right. Um, so, so anyway. Right on red, what you do then. You slow down and proceed with caution. The street you are turning onto is a one-way. What? Okay, okay. Unless a sign is posted, you may turn right oh, on. Okay. You may, oh, okay. You, you may turn may right if turn. the street you are turning onto is a one way. 
You slow down and proceed with caution. You stop and yield. Um, you stop and yield. You stop and yield to pedestrians and other vehicles before turning. The answer is C. It is C, but it's also B, Ravi. You could turn onto a one-way street in a red. The, the, the reason it's not B is because... It, it doesn't the, say you stop first. You didn't stop. Right. I know. But that's a bad question. It's a gotcha. It's a bad question. You stop and but yield. it's definitely C. Ten. All right. This oh, this is the slow moving vehicle. No, well, that's the like oh. uh, school zones. Yes, it is. A sign with this color and shape is it's a pentagon. It's a one, two, three, four. It's a rectangle. It's a pentagon. Yeah, it's, it's a, five sides. Yeah, it's, it's a, a pentagon. Re- it's a rectangle with a triangle on top. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and it's yellow. Uh, uh, watch for pedestrian crossing street, school zone or school crossing, signal controlled crossing ahead. I'm pretty sure it's school zone. No, it's not. It's pedestrian. Is it pedestrian? It's pedestrian. Because he always has a picture of the lady holding the sun, like walking the late, the the kid. Right. That's in a school zone. No, that's different. <sighs> pretty, I'm pretty sure this is the pedestrian sign. Because like, if it was orange, it would be the slow moving vehicle one. Yeah. No, that's, that's no, a those di- are triangles. That's, that's a di- that's those not, are legit yeah, triangles. triangles. I don't know, man. Uh, I think it's pedestrian because I I'm picturing the Okay. The, yeah, the, I the, see what you're saying. I, I remember that <sighs> Yeah, probably. I'm not sold on it. Do you want to arm wrestle for No, it? I'm I'm let's go with it. I think you're probably right, but I'm not I think that I'm not I, I think the school zone's different. I do. <sighs> we'll look it up. We'll we'll find out if I'm wrong or right. Yeah, we'll see. It's, it's kind of it's I assume it gives us results. It's kind of hard to look at this when it when it doesn't have this, the actual thing. Right, on it. and it never wouldn't have that. It would always have Which is why that's a bad they, oh, yeah, you don't care about the color. You just care about the emblem. Right. All right, so pedestrian or school zone? Good pedestrian crossing. I, All right. I don't know. I don't feel good about it, though, right? 11. You should always travel at the speed of vehicles in front of you, at the speed limit, according to the road and weather conditions. <sighs> It's according to the road weather. It's according to the road weather conditions. <laughs> but to me, that suggests that I don't necess- I don't necessarily have to obey the speed limit, yes. which means I can go over it. If the conditions allow for, for the road, the road and weather conditions allow me to go faster than the speed limit, I should be able to based on that answer. Right. Well, th- that also leads like let's say I for the for shits and gigs, yeah. I take the the Z out and I got who's your H two O's on it, and yeah. I'm blowing the doors off of yeah, everybody. Absolutely, going the speed limit. Yeah. Now I get pulled over because I'm not driving in the conditions. Absolutely. Uh, sir, these tires are designed for these conditions. I promise you I'm safer on the road than any. I'm probably safer doing this speed on the road than I would be if it was dry. Probably, yeah. All right. We're going to go with road and weather conditions. Yeah. 12. Which of the following is a safe backing technique? Accelerate gently and smoothly while looking carefully behind you. Look forward <laughs> through the windshield. So that's out. Hold the steering wheel underhanded. I've never done that. Not even once. No. Always overhand. I don't even do that like going straight. No. I like even when I'm like just resting my hand on the steering wheel, it's always over. Uh, underhand's awkward. Turning your hand upside down like that? What am I, a drifter? No, like sitting here like if I'm just going straight and holding my like this feels weird, right? In my forearm. Man, I have to be on a really long road trip to like even start to consider going underhand. <laughs> Almost yeah. a. Accelerate gently and smoothly while looking carefully behind you. To avoid panic stops, watch for things in the roadway well ahead of you. Drive with your window partly down. <laughs> <laughs> accelerate heavily. Oh, absolutely! Accelerate heavily. Um, no. <laughs> watch for things in the roadway. You won't have to panic stop if you're going so fast you can't see it. <laughs> you never had to stop. Yeah. It stops for you. Yeah. Broken yellow lines or dashes are used on streets and highways to indicate a no passing zone. Okay. Separate lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. Separate lanes of traffic moving in the opposite direction. Broken yellow lines. Yellow. Yellow is the same direction. No, it's, no, it's the other way around. What, white, white is same direction. <laughs> God damn it! So separate lanes, separate and opposite lanes directions. and traffic moving in opposite. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. Fifteen. The posted speed limit is the fastest you can drive in the posted area. 
Period. That's not a question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a statement. You are correct. You must reduce your speed to a lower speed that is safe for the conditions and circumstances that exist whenever necessary. True. Yes, true. It's a dumb question. Though. Yeah, they should allow for us to go above the speed limit if the conditions allow. Yeah. Headlights are required day or night when visibility is less than... 100 feet, 300 feet, 500 feet. I would say three. I don't know. <laughs> it's not five. It's either one or three. Yeah? Uh, I want to say, yeah. Uh, yeah. 100 seems not enough, though. But the, If I'm traveling at 60 miles an hour, 100 feet of visibility... It doesn't say how fast you're going, Adam. I know. That's why I think it's three. <laughs> Of course, if I only have 100 feet of visibility, I'm not doing 60 miles an hour. Right. Um, 300 feet? 500 feet? Three. All right, we're going to go 300. I don't feel good about it. Yield. All right, so a sign with this shape, which is an upside-down triangle with red and white in the middle. So it's like half red with the white triangle inside the red. Uh, it means car on the right goes first. You have the right of way. Let cross... Let cross traffic go by first. C. Yes, it's a yield sign. Car on the right. Doesn't just say yield. Yeah, what are we? Mm. The, car, the car on the right never goes first. What? You yield to the right. Oh, yeah, sorry. Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Adam, that's the right answer now. The car on the right goes first. No, because cross traffic goes first because you also have to yield to the left on a yield sign. Yes. So that's the most correct answer. So we're assuming that this is a two-way... This is a, you are yielding to a street that doesn't yield. Yeah, otherwise there wouldn't be a yield sign. Because if, if, one direct, if both directions don't have to yield... or If they don't put yield signs in both directions. Correct. They only do stop they signs. They only do it stop signs or no signs at all. Yes. In which case the right-of-way law comes into play. Yes. That is not what's happening here. Right. So... It is cross traffic first. Yes. 18. Before making a turn, you should look to see if other vehicles and or pedestrians are in your way. Stop at a crosswalk. Move slightly to the left when turning right and move slightly to the right when turning left. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something that they would tell me to do. Let's read that again. <laughs> before making a turn. <coughs> yeah, before making a turn, you should. Look to see if other vehicles or pedestrians are in the way. Will be in the way. Yes. Stop at a crosswalk. Or yes. move slightly to the left and turn to the right. Move slightly to the right when turning to the left. No. So. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be A, right? Because you don't. If there's a, <laughs> <laughs> if there's a crosswalk, you only have to stop if there's a pedestrian. Yeah, and that is covered by option A as well. Yes. So you don't have to stop at the crosswalk. So it's got to be A. Yeah, you don't just stop at every crosswalk. Right. That would be so obnoxious. Nineteen. A steady green light means go. Increase your speed. Adjust your mirrors. You can go through the intersection at a reasonable safe speed. Adjust your mirrors. <laughs> Absolutely. Option B. <laughs> uh, no. 20, I think this is it. When you are behind a motorcycle, you should be ready to use your horn. <laughs> yes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Concentrate on the center line. Allow more following distance. Uh, I'm painfully aware of this because I was behind some guy and he didn't believe I left him enough room and he just kept like throwing his arm in the air. I was like, bro, there's like six fucking car lengths between us. And just kept like putting it like, do, like doing this like slow down stops. Why? Like uh, he wanted like all the room between us. And I was like, bro, you could slide out three times and I'd still miss you. <sighs> fucking Five. BMW. He was on a BMW yeah, motorcycle. He was. he was on a BMW motorcycle. Uh, allow for more following distance. How many, te how many are there? I think it's 25. Oh, okay. 21. You are driving on a road oh, that has two oh, or no, more Robbie. lanes in each direction. There is a picture for this one. Yes. So, ooh, Robbie, this one's hard. Okay. You meet, 
You meet a school bus traveling the opposite direction that is stopped with flashing red lights. Are you required to stop? Yes, you should always stop for a school bus that displays red flashing lights. Yeah, be- the only time you might not do that would be as if they're divided. This one's not divided. They're just in multiple lanes. You should always stop for a school bus that displays flashing red lights. No. When you are approaching a stop school bus from the opposite direction on a road that has two or more lanes in each direction, you are not required to stop and may continue carefully. This is only the time you can pass a school bus that displays flashing red lights. I don't think that's true. I don't think it is either. I think I, it's, yes, I, you should always stop for a school bus that displays red flashing lights. Yes. I think. But that, you don't have to always stop. You don't have to stop. No, but. Or I, are you supposed to stop even if there's a median? I think the only time you wouldn't is if there's a median. Or if, like, on the interstate, you know, obviously not on the interstate, but, like, you know, like where you have divided divided roads. But then I, th- I bet they use their yellow lights. No, they still use the red because no, the cars have to, the cars yeah, behind them and the cars have to, have stop. to stop. I don't think you can ever pass a school bus if it has red lights, even if you're separated, which doesn't matter because that's not the scenario in this particular picture. But I don't. Yeah, I don't think you can stop. I, I don't think you can go. I think it's. I think it's yes. You should always stop. Yeah, I think that's the most correct answer. I feel, I at least feel better about that one. Like if, even if it's not the right way to do it, I still stop. Right. <laughs> Another school bus. God dang it. Oh, this one's for sure you stop. Um, another school bus question. Stop, so. You are traveling on a two or three lane road and meet a stop school bus with its red lights flashing. You must stop proceed after a few seconds. Stop only if children are crossing the roadway. Stop and remain stopped. Yeah, that's the obvious answer. Stop and remain stopped until the red lights stop flashing and the stop arm is withdrawn. How many times can they use the word stop? Stop. You stop doing that. All right, so that one's obvious. You stop. Yeah. And you stay stopped. Yep. Until you are told not to stop. <clears throat> until they stop telling you to stop. Yep. Now I'm, now I'm less confident in my answer for the last one. That's... <laughs> no, we said yes. Always stop. Yeah, I know, but now I'm less confident because that one was, you know, obvious that you have to stop. But you could have could have answered stop until there's no kids and then go. I could see some asshole thinking that. Yeah, for sure. So we're good. It's fine. You see a school bus with flashing amber right <laughs> lights. What is the bus driver doing? He's changing gears. I mean, He's... he probably is. <laughs> if it's an automatic and the yellow lights are flashing, or if it's a manual and the yellow lights are flashing, bet he's changing gears. Yep. That's a true statement. Uh, signaling to other motorists that the bus will soon be stopping or lo- to load or unload children. Preparing to make a turn. I'm sticking with changing gears. <laughs> I mean, no, he's probably not getting ready to make a turn. But what color is the turn signal, Adam? Ooh, Robbie. That's not. That's, what that's not, not what they're saying, no, right? It's not. <laughs> that's not what no, they're saying, no, right? It's, no, it's signaling to other motorists <laughs> that the bus will be stopping to load or unload school children. All right, twenty-four. The sign means so it's a rectangle sign. That is the arrow? Kind of turning to the right with the median thing. Yep. So that means that a divided highway is beginning ahead. Or so the right lane ends, or water, or watch for vehicles entering it's from divided the highway ahead. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. There you go. Which of the following is a dangerous thing to do in a work zone? Ooh. Tailgate another vehicle. Fail to carefully watch for workers and moving equipment. Or both of them. Both. Obviously. Oh, no, Robbie. We passed. But. But we missed. Four. We missed four. Right, and so they show. Uh, I, I, we knew it. We knew it would be uh, the fucking first one. So if, what? It says turn it to the left. Yep. So if the rear of your. No. Ve- All right. So we missed four questions out of 25. Number one we missed. Yep. If the rear of the vehicle is skidding to the left, you should. Turn your steering wheel to the left. So if your ass is to the left, you are to the left. I don't think that's right. I always hated this question. I want to drift you, boy, that shit. Wouldn't that just... That wouldn't straighten the car out, would it? It would slow the skid. It would prevent you from... Because it... Because you're now turning the direction that your ass was turning to counter. 
Wouldn't that just turn the ass end more? Wouldn't that just spin you around? I think they're assuming that you're not continuing to accelerate. Even if I'm decelerating, if I hit the brakes and turn to the left, the back end of that car is coming is looping. 100%. I th- I, yeah. I, I, I think we're assuming that you're trying to catch it and save it when really they're just trying to stop the skid. I don't agree with that answer. No, I, I thought, I've always argued with that one. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got wrong. Damn oh, it. It was a school zone. Was I was right. Oh. I knew it. I didn't I'm feel sorry. good about it. I'm sorry. I, I steered your That's wrong. That's okay. We still passed. Charlie. What's the pedestrian crossing sign look like? It's white and red. Oh, it is white. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's the same shape, though. Yeah, I think so, but it's My white, bad. isn't it? It is white. I I, okay. I got that wrong. 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We got, oh, it is 500, 500 feet. feet. Headlights, headlights, oh, headlights, headlights are required day or night when visibility is less than 500 feet. I figured it would be the highest number possible. I, You know what? I should have assumed that. I should have assumed yeah, that. You're throw, right. Throw logic out the window. It's, it, you should know what? it should have been the highest number. I, th- I felt bad about the school one, and I was right. You felt bad about the headlights. Yep. You were right, yep. I guess. Nope. Look at us. It happens. it happens. All right, that's three out of four. What's the fourth one? We got the fucking school bus wrong, didn't we? One of them. <laughs> oh, no. no. We, didn't get it. we fucking did get it wrong. So, so scroll back up so we can read the question. Or, sorry. Yeah, okay. You are driving on the road that has two or more lanes in each direction. You meet a school bus traveling the opposite direction that is stopped with the flashing red lights. You are required. Are you required to stop? No. When you are approaching a stop school bus from the opposite direction on a road that has two or more lanes in each direction, you are not required to stop and may continue carefully. This is the only time you can pass a school bus that displays flashing red lights. Because that's too many lanes of traffic. They're not going to let the kids the, cross. The, yeah, the, so the bus would come from the opposite direction to let you, let the kid off. That is true. I still feel bad about it. Like I, like I This is one of those times where it's like, if there was a median, that does it doesn't bother me. But no, if there's no median, I don't. I still feel, feel right bad. About I, it. No, if it, I feel like I'm breaking the law, this this is one of those like I'll follow what everyone else is doing. So if somebody in front of me stops for those flashing red lights, I'm stopping too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way I'm blowing through that. No. And you can tell everyone second guesses themselves. But if you don't happens. stop because nobody else did, and you hit a kid, you're still you can't be like, well, no one else did. That's not ignorance is not an excuse. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently, yeah. If it's uh, multiple it. multiple lanes in opposite directions, you could, you don't have to stop. I'm. I don't like that. I I'm mean, a, I get it. I I, it, <laughs> I understand the logic. It just seems. I'm proud that we passed, Robbie. I feel like 84 percent is not that bad. No, that's good. 84 is fine. I I still I firmly believe these are written uh, to make you fail. Wait, do we? Yes, so we missed Four. first first question. 10, the 500 lights. feet, and then and the, 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 the bus. bus. Yes. Yep. yep, that's all four. So, yeah, I just I, I feel like these the, a lot of these questions are specifically written to, to be you. difficult, they trip you to up. make you fail, which is bullshit. I don't think it makes – yeah, not to make you fail, but it definitely makes you question it. Because, like, I guess now I know for sure what to do in a school bus situation. I'm still going to stop if everybody else does. I don't know. It's – Sketches, I, I it think, sketches me out. I never want to not stop. So, your dictator for a day, just one day. Yeah, just for one day. Can I, and and because uh, your priorities don't lie in the right orders, you've decided to fix the driver's license laws. How often would you require a written test recertification? Five years? Is that reasonable? Uh, so too often? Is that not enough? God, I, I have such like. I mean, if this is all it is, yeah, five five years is no problem. I I would get real strict on how long does a driver's license? You can get it. Like you can get a lot of years on. It. I haven't renewed mine in it's upstairs in forever. I need to. I need to. Do you have a coming address on yours? They don't send you new ones anymore. Oh, they don't. They update, I have a they, Nevada address. They updated. Mine. They I updated, updated mine in the system. for my address. I did too, but they don't send you a new one until you renew it. Oh, and mine I was. Think I mine's not for like mine another, I think anyway. mine's actually. I think it's this year, next year. I wonder. I bet mine's almost out actually. Because it was way into the 2020s, 
when I when I redid well, it. Well, now they have that new ID you got to go get anyway. Yeah, I got to. That was, that's what Real ID? Yeah, that's what they call is it. Is that what that is? So, yeah, I need that anyways. Mine expires. Oh, shit. Mine expires in 2023. Yep. Mine's in the 20s somewhere. I can't remember. Mine was issued this one, which is the one with my Class C on it. Yep. Oh, look at that. It says on the back. Uh, greater than 16,000, but less than 26,001. Okay, that makes sense. So that's the range. But now the law is 25,000 or less. You don't have to have any special license. Okay. They changed it at the beginning of the year. Huh. Uh, which was kind of a, a relief to uh, our management. Yeah. But kind of a bum deal for us. So they, they changed the... Because you could get a raise if you got the higher license. Right. They changed that now. Of course they did. Yeah. Because most of our trucks don't require anything higher than a, or didn't require anything higher than oh sorry it's a class D class D chauffeur. Yep, I remember a buddy in high school. His parents had a limo, and he had a chauffeur license at like sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> so, but this one was issued three fifteen nineteen and expires on my birthday in twenty twenty three. Yep, I should check mine. Mine might be the twenty twenty two or twenty twenty three. I am listed as a donor, Robbie. You too. Good for those, you. Those, those organs are no good to me. I'm dead. I'm not going to say it on the podcast, but my driver's license number is really easy. <laughs> so I know it off the top of my head. And I have, uh, I got pulled over once. This has been a long time. I still had my Audi. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I, years. yeah, I don't even remember what I got pulled over for. Um, but I rattled off my driver's license number to the cop sitting yep. in the passenger seat. He goes, you know your license number? And I was like, well, it's really easy to remember. And then he, I don't think he caught what I said. And so he looks at it and goes, oh, yeah, it is. And I was <laughs> like, yeah, it's not It's not that I rattle it off to cops all the time. I mean, you can look at my record. I'm not getting pulled over yeah, that often. I, gonna, I just I've got easy. like two tickets. It's ever. really easy to remember. Yeah. So, But yeah, back to being dictator for a day. Yeah, how often would you require re-up? I think re-up would. I think that's five years. Five for years sure. seems reasonable. I think. I think as you get older, I'd be stricter with it. You know, like as you're hitting like the sixties and seventies and eight, like as you know, as you age. Yeah. You know, I think you'd. I, I would like to. I think. I, I think it'd be fair. At that point, we need to introduce some sort of like reflex test, not a vision test. No a reflex. Test. Yeah, I think that's. I think that would be part of it. And then I also think that the more like. The more traffic violations and stuff like that, like you know, just get your fucking license back. You have to, yeah. you have to earn it back. Yeah. So like, yeah, if you have like three DUIs, I cut off your hands, you don't get to drive anymore. But that's 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 a whole different thing. Well, that's extreme dictator. We're gonna cutting people's hands off. That's getting a little wild and crazy. Fuck it. I'm going to Sweden and we're having uh, DUIs and we're beheading you. That's that's how. Whoa. We're Damn, going. Son. We're going all the way. Jeez, I don't think that's the thing. No to DUIs. Do. I don't. I think any. Yes, it is. Developed there, country. There, is, there are people. countries in this world that you, they do not get DUIs because because is that strict of a rule? I don't think they behead people, no, though, they, Ravi. That seems look, a little let's bit Google medieval. It. Let's Google it. I want to know. Um, execute for DUI. <laughs> uh, Ravi's on a list now. I think it's in like Sweden or Switzerland or something. I can't spell in Sweden. Let's find it out. Okay. Harshest DUI punishments around the world. There we go. Oh, this will be good. I'm excited for this. We're just going to... We're talking about... Law. Real quick. We'll just yeah. go through this. Poland has a long history of having dangerous roads and tragic accidents, so they don't tolerate any self-inflicted safety hazards. For the first offense, you will lose your license for three years and face a minimum fine of $1,635. That's pretty strict. A series long you, political you have lectures. You also <laughs> attend a series of long political lectures. That'd be way worse. That's terrible. Um, Costa Rica, El Salvador, and France. Uh, standard fees, jail time, driving suspension apply to these countries. What sets them apart is that you can have your vehicle impounded and sold off by the authorities for your first offense. Uh, the, no, they won't El Salvador will not execute you by firing squad. Uh, South Africa, jail time and fees are much higher. First DUI, you'll be oh. sent to jail for 10 years. $10,000 fine or both. Wow. Uh, Turkey. Always um, been something of legend. Because police officers were known to drive intoxicated drivers 20 miles out into the desert and force them to march back to civilization. They're even kind enough to find an escort so you'd march the entire 20 miles without help. 
Uh, Australia. Wow. Nothing like good old fa- old fashioned uh, public humiliation. If you get a DUI in Australia, your name and offense is published in the newspaper for everyone to see. We do that here. Um, but you get a lot of people get fired from their jobs because of that, which makes sense. The United Arab Emirates. Oh. Vlogging. Yep. You read that, right? The UAE is pretty intense about a lot of stuff. Yeah. Vlogging? In, Damn. In, in addition to jail time, you could be flogged with 80 oh, lashes. 80 across, across the, the arms, arms back. back and legs. That's crazy. 80 well, I know lashes. In Singapore, if you spit gum on the ground, you get caned. Public caning. It's a, clean, it's a clean country. Penalties in the U.S. are pathetic by comparison. We don't necess- necessarily thought, want the extreme of flogging, but maybe we should try a nice mix of Australia's humiliation and France's tendency to impound. I could have swore there was one that was like crazy strict. I don't think that we're killing on people off in a, the modern developed world. Shame. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> no, I can't. I thought there was one that was like. Yeah, how Sweden figured out drunk driving. High taxation rate of alcohol, strict regulations, and cultural attitudes. See, that's the biggest thing, is cultural attitudes to me. (laughs) Oh, excuse me. All right, but I I thought there was one that was like wildly strict beyond more than just 10 years in jail, but there was not. All right, so this driving test was brought to you by Petrobox. MyPetroBox.com. Use the code TTP15 for 50% off all of your uh, first box and anything that's available in the store. And I'm not going to say who, but somebody's getting Christmas presents from PetroBox because I used the code two days ago. Nice. Uh, So use the code TTP15. Uh, Anything that's already been put in the box that that people have uh, had excess of is already in the store. So like dog collars, shirts, uh, car care products. These are things that show up every month if you have the subscription box. I think that this is a really good website. There it is. I was waiting for that Rotoform. Rotoform wheels reminder to pop up because you get <laughs> they give a free set of Rotoform wheels every month yeah. to subscribers. This is a really good website to send a the aunt that always wants to buy you something. Yes, that, don't, that won't give you a gift card. That won't give you a gift card. This is a good place to send her because because uh, they always the one that won't give you a gift card they don't want you to like you know they always want to get you the most useless and stupid shit well yeah of course but like everything on this website is usable to most car enthusiasts and you can let her pick what she wants to do based on what her budget is yes so this is a really good site to send dear aunt sally because she won't give you a gift card to the xbox store like you really want but they will give you a gift card at mypetrobox.com, too. You can get a you can get, you, gift you, card. You can get but a like, gift card. You know, if you end up with a couple clean, care, car cleaning products and a shirt, like that's... Mechanics, gloves, It's not books. the end of the world. TTP 15 should get, save a little money. Get yeah. you a few extra cool things. Stubby wrench sets. I was meaning to buy one for like 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 a th- really small. Because like, remember, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I cut up a, a few of them that one uh-huh. time when I had to do that turbo swap. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I was meaning to get a whole set, and these actually showed up like as I was thinking about it. It's so, like it's just kind of nice how Doice. just the tools are what I really appreciate. Just that spark it's, plug bottle stopper is hilarious. It's for the wine, for the winos in your life. I kind there's of a, love there's that. a bottle stopper, and then there's a spark plug bottle opener. I have, I have that in the shop. I should for my get that for non alcoholic beers. I should get that for my mom. She drinks wine, and uh, she like doesn't. Like, well, she doesn't drink a lot, so she has to put a stopper in well, it. Well, yeah, so it but not that, too. But, like, she doesn't, uh, like, not appreciate the car theme. Yeah. You know, like, well, she, she gets it. she your dad. I would right. assume yeah, she gets exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> she gets it. She gets it better than most, honestly. So, yeah. That's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah, I got a few things off here just the other day. So cool. you better better get on that before Christmas. Boom. MyPetroFox.com. We got a couple things to wrap up here. Yeah, I got. You want me to do a hot take, or you want to do something before that? Uh, you t- you do you, Robbie. You're you're in charge. It's your day. It's, never it's my your day. day, Robbie. It's never my day. All right, Fucking I got one takes. that was sent Jesus to us. Christ, hot takes. Hot take. One that was sent to you. Are you gonna? This is on the group. Oh, and since it was Thanksgiving, we didn't get to do it for Thanksgiving. Yeah, because. Well, but we could do it for Christmas. Okay. Ham is I ham mean, is better than turkey on Thanksgiving. Yeah, he said it. I 
Okay, so I want to preface this. Okay. My family's not very good at cooking. What? We're not very good at cooking. Okay. It's a it's a thing. Okay. <laughs> the, okay. The Nielsen's don't cook. No. My my even my extended family. Uh my my mother in law's husband, so I guess it would be my stepfather in law. Okay, we'll go with it. Really good cooking. Okay. His turkey, phenomenal. Enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh if I was at home I'd much prefer ham. Really? Yeah, because ham is way harder to fuck up, and a uh, turkey that is not cooked well is super dry, and it's like almost impossible to swallow, and it's just not that good. I was so proud of my turkey I made last year, because Jess gets like a coupon from work, because they uh-huh. gave all the nurses like a $25 gift card, for free or a free turkey or whatever. Okay. And she goes, we go to Hy-Vee, and she's like, it says it's a you know, free turkey, get the biggest one, then we can have leftovers. I'm like, Jess, it's, it's a $25 value. We're not getting a $50 turkey. Because it's not free. I, they're only going to give us $25 off. Right. I don't need a 25, 25 pound turkey. That's insane. So she's like, no, nah, we'll get the biggest one. And we'd like, we're arguing in high V. I was like, Jess, I promise you, we're going we to pay the need, difference. We don't need that much turkey. I'm fine with having leftovers. I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm not fine with paying double what we need. Right. So we get up there with our 20 whatever pound turkey because she's convinced this is it. And they look at the coupon and they scan it and it's like, yeah, it's, it's still t- still $25 on the turkey that you owe. Right. Because the $25 just covered half of it. Right. Because it was the fucking biggest turkey we could find. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so unnecessary. So we had a turkey that was meant to feed like a family of like 10. Six, 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had leftover turkey for like a long time. Yeah. But I brined it and it was fucking good. I'm still eating leftover turkey. Uh, I didn't get much this year. Didn't take, didn't take any home with me. Yeah. But there were supposed to be 25 people that showed up where we were and 10 showed up. So oh. there was a lot of extra food. Yeah. No, I'm brining a turkey for Jess's family. And that reminds me, I should probably get that ready because we're leaving tomorrow. Or, no, nah, I guess sometime. We're leaving Friday morning. There you go. We're good. So, but yeah, I got to remember to put that in the brine. Yeah. If it, it really, for me, it comes down to prep. Who's making it? Okay. I like turkey more than ham on Thanksgiving. Yes. But if it's if it's at my home, I'd probably prefer the ham. I sorry, mom. I prefer turkey. Hands down. I hate deli ham. But if it's like a oh yeah, I'm not a um um what do they call that like the, the Christmas ham? What's that? like the, there's an actual yeah name. big like smoked honey ham. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only ham I actually like. Yeah. The only one. Yeah. Thick slices. Yep. Like ham steaks. Basically, Basically. That's, yeah, I'm, that's, I like yeah, that. that's the kind of ham we're getting. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting thin shaved deli ham, no. Robbie. If 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 I have to, if I go to a deli, I'm like, all right, I need sandwich meat. Yeah, I will get turkey, turkey, chicken, any sort of beef. Because I'm really not not a big fan of the beef, the thin beef. No, it doesn't work very nah, well. It's, not not, it's cold beef is not where I'm at. Dried beef, fucking bomb. Okay. But they don't just sell it at anywhere. You have to like go to an actual meat locker. You know what and I pay really top dollar for? You it. know what's kind of strange that I really enjoy as a lunch meat that you can get at Fairways, which is kind of a semi-local grocery chain to us that yep. has a really good meat market. They do. Uh, they sell summer sausage in like uh, the size of like a, what you would get if like you were buying a thing of Oscar Mayer bologna, like a six-inch girth. Yeah, like it's like it's a like the size of a sandwich. It's a it's a sandwich sized piece of summer sausage. <laughs> it's actually a really good sandwich meat. I bet that it would be. You put some cheese on there, throw some bread and butter, bam, you got yourself a summer sausage sandwich. It's really actually really that good. Would be, that would be good. And then it doesn't matter so much on the temperature. No, summer sausage, which makes it nice for the racetrack. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah. So that's another thing in front of ham. <laughs> That's fair. I will not buy and deli. If ham. I'm going to Fairway and getting lunch meat, it's their smoked pork. Oh, so good, Robbie. I could do that. So sm- sm- smoked, good. smoked meat's good. I like a really heavy smoke flavor. Yeah, it's not heavy enough to be really like my life. But every once in a while, you'll get the one. Dalton does a pretty good job. I mean, well, no, I mean like when I go because I get that oh, smoked. From, I get that smoked pork loin lunch meat from fairway pretty regularly because i bring my lunch to work most days uh and so like during the winter i try to bring stuff that i can heat up in my microwave right but during the summer I, a lot of times i'll just bring cold meat sandwiches and i get that pork 
a lot. Okay. Every once in a while, you hit the jackpot. There's so oh my god, it's worth like two or three weeks of of. I mean, that's good when it's it's pretty good when it's not hitting on it's not firing on all eight cylinders. Right. It's still it's, so, it's, so it's still a really strong V six. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but when it Oh, dude! When you get that one, that one pound that was just the right one. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I believe that. So yeah, turkey for sure. Yeah. Uh, now that you turkey, now that everyone is properly hungry, I am really hungry. I want to. Rem- I know I haven't eaten dinner yet. I want to remind everyone to go to Eyes Up Auto Art on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, he is doing commissions for Christmas. It's another great Christmas gift. Hell yeah. Um, also, he was selling these on Etsy. I don't think he still is, right? No, he isn't, but I bet he could do it if you commissioned him. Oh, that's cool. He will send you an unfinished... You can't see it in the video. An unfinished Let me see this. Let me see um, this. canvas where he already has, oh. drawn, he has drawn out the stencil. Probably that's a hell and of a car he, for and you. And then he's got a, uh, a a paint kit, and then you just paint, the, uh, you paint it in yourself. And I haven't done it yet, but... Are you gonna? Yeah, it's more of a winter project thing for That's me. That's cool. I think it's a good choice for you. Yeah, he picked. Did it you pick it? No, he just sent it to me. Surprised in the, in the oh, mail. Oh, nice. Yeah, that so it's cool. It's a Shelby Daytona, and he yeah, don't, and I, I don't know if I said it on the a show. A Daytona Coupe. Yeah, the Daytona Coupe. I prefer that car over every other Shelby. It's my favorite. Watch it, Robbie. I said it. Watch it, Robbie. I said it. The Omni is the best Shelby ever made. <laughs> Fine, but it's gold. So you're a psychopath. Uh, mine, the the GLHS is. I th- I think they only came in black. Yeah, I think so. Somebody's going to fucking jump no, down my know. throat for That's it. That's fine. But yeah, if you want to get a painting of either something you've done, like <laughs> your car, or if you want to commission someone else's car, like he does a, an amazing job. So, so cool. Eyes up auto art. Uh, there's no code. We're just... We got this one here on just, the wall. Yeah, it's a great Datsun. It's a really cool looking Z. Yep. I'm so glad that that made it here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Didn't get stuck. In I'm the not middle. sure whose car it is. It's a really cool looking car, though. I wonder if it's if it gets driven very often. I bet it doesn't. Yeah, I don't think it does either. <laughs> if, if I had that car, I I'd would drive do, it like every day. I would do everything I could to make sure I drove it every day. Yeah, as regularly as possible. Yep. You know, if I if I really It'd be really cool with that like like a a really high revving, naturally aspirated RV <sighs> or something like that would be really cool in that car. I, It'd be a no, lot of fun, wouldn't it? And there's no excuse to not have that running. Because they're supported by everything. Yeah. Like, like there's so many websites you know that I, just support that. You know what I wouldn't put in there? A VQ. Oh, God, no. I barely want to put a VQ in the Z I have. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely wouldn't put it in uh, <laughs> an old Datsun. There's like four people who are just like... <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, there's four people who get it, and the rest of them are like, what are they going on about? It's a picture of E-Man's Datsun. <laughs> and it was it was painted by Eyes Up Auto Art, and it's super great. But it's it at really my cool. house, not at, at E-Man's house. Dots or Evans Dotson is broken in his garage because he won't fix it. Uh, and he wants a, to put a VQ in it. Uh, don't. It's got an RB in it. RB. It's a little much better, right? Um, Eyes of Art. Should we wrap this up? We're getting there. <laughs> Apextrackcoach.com. Yeah, say, we got, like, shut it down. Yeah, see, we want to just wrap it up. I don't really have anything else. I don't have anything else, Robbie. Uh, no. No, I've just been ordering a bunch of parts. I, I, biggest... What would you order? Like anything fun uh, you want to talk about real quick? Or don't dude, we care that much? I don't think... I, we can talk a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to get... I mean, like super fast. Like uh, less than so five I'm, re- I'm rebuilding the transmission. Uh-huh. I rediscovered that I'm an idiot. Okay. So you know how I said that... Like, Did you same, discover that or just reaffirm I that? I reaffirmed okay. that I'm a fucking right, idiot. Fair. So I, I was. I, I had it all together. I'm like trying to figure out why do I keep breaking shift forks? Yeah. Like it doesn't make any fucking sense. No. I'm like, and the and the synchros look great. Like there's no wear on them mm-hmm. until it occurred to me that they don't just wear on the teeth; they also wear on the ID. So it the synchro isn't oh. supposed to bottom on the gear. There's supposed to be a gap, and like it when I rebuilt it this summer, it, I didn't even pay attention to that. I'm like, oh, the, the teeth look great. Teeth look great. I'll fix the, I'll, I'll fix the shift fork. We'll be fine. Okay. Uh, then I immediately went and sheared off that shift fork again. Yeah. Uh, no, it's because that synchro is completely worn out on the inside, so it goes all the way back to the gear, so it's really not really doing anything. So it's just kind of like, so I'm forcing it into into fifth gear without a synchro. Right. So the synchro showed up yesterday. Okay. Um, and the rest of your parts are in a ditch in Alabama. Yep. Yeah, the the shift fork and the rod and all right. that stuff. Cause like, I'm not convinced that rod's 
straight. I think it's bent now. So I you know, $20. So I ordered another one. Right. And of course, I can't get the parts, Nissan parts dealer to get back to me. So it's been a month. Um, but other than that, I ordered uh, rotors, and those showed up today. Yes, That's boring. Yeah, I know. Uh, the rest would be a clutch, uh-huh. a flywheel. Um, what else did I ordered this past weekend? Uh, it's like a strut bar. Really, nothing too exciting. Yeah. But uh, all my GK Tech stuff, so like solid mounts. Um, so like the guy, I put. That's why I was at Boonies. I did um, solid bushings in my steering rack because it was. I felt like it was moving a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, solid bushings there. GK Tech suspension are uh, adjustable. Everything all the way around. Damn. Yeah. So I have those in already. I'm just waiting on like because I bought it off somebody. Oh, okay. And then it was missing like a like a spacer, so uh-huh. I ordered a spacer. When I ordered all my other stuff from them, um, like they have a like a it's a spring set that goes in your shifter to help with feeling. So I mean, just a lot of little things like just solid bushings and suspension stuff. Just small improvements. Yeah, yeah. I'm really not spending a big amount of money on it. I'm just getting it running right. Cause I'm, Are you still hoping to get it a tune? Yeah, there's like a, place, a real tune yeah. instead of just a. Yeah, there's a place. I have two options. So the, I actually have three options. So there's a place in Kansas City that tunes up rev okay it's like really reasonably priced cool so um i need to get all of them see if i need to get my own cable or if, I, if they have a cable and right. just, then i just pay for the licensing and then I, I know what i want out of a tune otherwise my option is to buy a cable and take it to excessive because i'll do it uh-huh. or what i could do is i could rent the dyno at paragon performance and then have admin tuning do it remotely you still gotta buy the cable though right still need to buy the cable yeah it's, and the licensing and all that stuff so right but i mean you know, a tune is a thousand dollars. It is what it is. So, right. And it doesn't really matter what direction I go. The costs are going to kind of. I think the cheapest one to be Kansas City, just because they're set up for it. Yeah. But I haven't had. I haven't called them yet. So. Cool. That's that's the last thing I'll figure out once I get that's everything fair. running right. That's fair. The car's got to shift and stuff like that before you can take it to a dyno. Yep. Yeah, and then yeah, I need an alignment, obviously, because change all that and putting better wheel bearings and. Yeah, really not nothing too exciting, but uh, it'll be running way better than it was this year. It should be little bit more competitive in when it comes to like the tune and whatnot but yeah i'm not paying a bunch of money on it this year to because i don't i mean i have plans with the npo one right you don't I, know how much driving time you're gonna get anyway in the z in the z uh it could be there's there's a chance the only grid life i make it to in the z is heartland park yeah based on the schedule that i tentatively have okay or I could make it to a few things depending on how it's packed. I'm allowed to have my schedule. So, yeah, there's a, there's a few things that I know it's grid life or mid div, and then the following weekend I'm at WRL. But there's no class for that. I, don't, oh, I, could, I could be anywhere. Sorry. I could be anywhere. I forgot. Yeah, I, I forgot you guys are. We could be anywhere. You have a thing. We have a thing. I don't know exactly what that thing. Neither is. Neither do we. But the Dan Po one has potential at places. Okay. So. But anyways, the NPL one takes precedence. That's the plan. So right. getting the Z where I want it without spending thousands of dollars to get there was kind of the goal. Right. So if it could be a little bit more competitive than it was this year, more reliable, more fun. Yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't unreliable, but it wasn't reliable either. And I I think I fixed that with the transmission and the other stuff. It, it, you know, I can make it. I can do a lot better with suspension now. I think yeah, with the proper tune, I think it could at least not be. Backpack, it could be mid pack, yeah. If I'm driving well, yeah. Or things are just going to go up exponentially more competitive, and I'll still be in backpack. For everyone, yeah, everyone's going to get faster. It's fine. It's fine. The rate of development is a real thing in grid life. It's crazy. Every time that Jubei thinks that we've reached a plateau, regardless of what part of you're competing in, whether it's Sunday Cup or Unlimited or GLTC, uh, every time they think they've reached a plateau based on the rule book, somebody no goes way. fucking flying right all by it. Oh, man. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm fully aware that like what I spend for an entire year of racing is what people will spend in a month that I'm competing against. Yeah. I'm aware of this. Yeah. I accept that. Yeah. I'm good with that. That's fine. <laughs> I can be whatever place I'm at. I'll You're not going to be top 10. I'm fine at with a that. Full, at a full GLTC race. Correct. You won't be top 10. Nope. That's fine. I I am not. My driving, as well as my financial ability, not going to prep that car in a way that will get me there. And no. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I live I live that life. <laughs> and I don't, <laughs> I don't think that that's going to get any better. It, it will not get easier. No. Next year. Never. 
Absolutely not. So it's the year of the Cayman. Is it? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. But anyways, if you want to get faster on track without spending a lot of money, Apex Pro, ApexTrackCoach dot com. Uh, you just go ten tenths. You get uh, get this. You get the Gen two and a window mount. You get ten percent off. So basically, a free window mount. And some money's off. Um, I love my Apex Pro. I love the Gen two, and I love the the i racing style of predictive lap. It doesn't give you the number right. in real time. It just tells you that you're doing better or worse. But if, I guess if you have your if you have your phone up, it'll tell you what the lap times are. Just right. not predictive. Right. But it'll tell you if you're improving or or uh, or not improving on your previous lap or your best lap. Uh, so I really like that. I really like all the, the added features. And then with this, um, if you don't want to have a Apex Pro and you want to just kind of see what it's all about, you can use the app, and the app is free. You can download it and treat it like a Harry's Lap Timer. It'll do the same thing. It'll yep. give you a lap time. You can use the data that it is available you know, with the limited uh, access that it has. And you can kind of dive into just like tiptoe into data, see what it's all about, and then realize how much you really like it. And then you can buy one of these using our code. Boom. My or apextrackcoach.com. Adam, we did a show. Another relatively successful car show. I think so. We didn't fail, Robbie. Neither one of the tests. We didn't. We're not psychopaths, and we're still good to drive. I like it. I mean, that what feels could, like a good win to go What out more on. could you ask for? I would have been. We would have had to scrap the whole show if we failed that thing. I was fully prepared to post a failed test on, you know, like if anything, I feel like that would have driven my point home. Yeah, probably. I I would have accepted it, but I going into this, I had no doubt in my mind I wasn't pa- failing that test. Like I I knew like I know the fucking laws, but I knew I was going to get tripped up on a few of them. Yeah. That's how they get you. And if we'd have even like opened a book and like perused it, we would have got those. Like I bet we would have got the five hundred foot one. The five hundred foot one would have been easy to remember. The school bus one, the, you know, that seemed, was very specific. Yeah. So I think we would have got that one. Right. So I mean, it's yeah, ten seconds of studying would have got us a couple of those answers too. So yeah, I'm not mad about that. No, passing, but I also passing consider on the test without to studying. be not only smart people, but I think you for sure me are good test takers. Yeah, I'm a very good test taker. I am okay. I have I work. I have a history of ridiculous test scores. I'm, I have a history of studying my ass off to get mediocre test scores. So I, I think oh, okay. I think you tested way better than me. Like, oh god, you're I'm a, so good. At your a, your ACT score was up here, <laughs> and mine was it was down here. Mine was wasted. My my let's put it mine was the opposite numbers of my brothers. Yeah, that, that's how. That's the difference. He's a doctor now. Yeah, and I am an engineer, so I, bet, I had to work extra hard. I will bet your brother and I's weren't that radically different. I think they were the same. Yeah, or damn close. Mine was wasted. Nah, you're fine. It's whatever. Yeah, no. But anyways, yeah, we we took a we took a good test. I'm not mad about it. No, no, we're good. Maybe one of these days I'm going to paint this thing. I keep looking at it. You should. That's cool. That's the thing. Like I look at I look at the sketch. That he did. I'm like, are, you, are you worried that you're not going to do it justice? It. I'm going to ruin it. That's, <laughs> that's 100 percent what would happen. To that's me. the only thing I look at. I'm like, there's no way. I, like, See, I look at that. And I think my if that was at my house and I absentmindedly didn't put it somewhere safe, I would come home to that being drawn on by my five year old. Yep. No, because I, I, I want to put it like on the wall next to his. Next to, but I, I'm, just, I don't think I can make it look anywhere near as good as his. No, it's you're like, not even close. Do it that level of justice. Well, he's got shading and shit. I don't know how to do that. I don't either, Robbie. No, I, bet, I, I, I should probably st- do it. I should probably do it for these. I paints can't draw straight out, lines though. with rulers. So okay. Yeah, me neither. Let's shut it down. Yep. All right, we'll catch everybody next week. Maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably.